enough is enough. Honestly, <laughs> it's, it, enough is a goddamn enough. Honestly, ah, oh, I just. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I was a bit angry after the World Cup final. And yes, the World Cup final is over. And congrats to Germany, the champions of the world when it comes to football. But this decision has just smothered this greatness of the World Cup final. That is, you know, Ch Germany versus Argentina. And it's just, oh, man, you've... You follow me on Twitter, you know what I'm talking about, but enough is a goddamn enough, and I just had to make this video, I'm just angry, man, I'm just, oh my god, and this has got, alright, I'll tell you what it is, Seb Blatter, the FIFA head of, the president of the FIFA government body, that is FIFA, of our world football game, announces straight after the game that the player of the tournament is Lionel Messi. I know. I know. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> oh, Messi, man. Yeah, oh, mate, it's Messi. It's definitely Messi, man. It's definitely Messi. <laughs> Lionel Messi. Oh, my God. And all the players in the World Cup... And all, he was the one player, Sepp Blatter, stood back and go, yeah, every single great player we had here at this tournament, we're going to pick uh, Messi. How about that? And you know what? This is going to be a long video, guys. And this, is, this video is not even about Cristiano Ronaldo versus Messi. This is about the corruption between FIFA, Barcelona, and Messi. Honestly... This has been building up in my head for years, since the last 10 years, more. Who knows? And, and you know what? I've, I've only been discovering the last 10 years. This could have been happening beforehand. This is going to be a long video. If you love Messi, mate, just shut down this, this just close down this video and watch some watch some v Messi videos because you're not going to like what you're going to hear here. It's all right now because it's a joke, man. <laughs> oh, Messi, man. Another award goes to Lionel Messi. Now, I'm not saying he's not the best in the world. And I'm not saying he's shit. But I tell you now, man, he doesn't deserve to be the best player of this World Cup. No way, man. And that's why I'm so angry. Because players like James Rodriguez, totally, man, totally going home empty-handed. Well, he's not gone home empty-handed, won the golden boot. But I tell you what, he should have that award. I tell you what, Messi should have gone up there, taken the award from Sepp Blatter and just gone, yep, you know what, this this award I'm winning here. Yeah, James Rodriguez, you can have this, buddy. You deserve that. Because I tell you what, he would have got a lot more respect for me if, if Messi had done that. But he didn't. But realistically, is he going to do that? I don't know, man. But I tell you, mate... <laughs> Messi, man, player of the tournament. Man, I could have picked about 30 players ahead of Messi. I'm not saying Messi had a bad tournament, but, mate, average at best. At best, he was average. Mate, look at, look at the final today. He wasn't even the best player in, in Argentina. Mascherano shitted all over him. Mascherano, if it wasn't for Mascherano, they wouldn't even be playing in this bloody World Cup final. Let me tell you right now. Mate... And how, when I say it's all rigged between FIFA, Barcelona and Messi, this is how far back I've been watching football. And this is where I've been starting to take notice on how rigged it all is between FIFA. So, like I said, it's going to be a long video, but... Alright, so, uh, Barcelona, one of the biggest clubs in the world. Respect to them. You know, they're a club owned by the fans, you know. and I, I, I love that. I wish that happened at United, you know. One thing Barcelona were, were, not anymore, were always famous for, what they were famous for having no shirt sponsor on the front of their kit. They wanted to be the only club in the world 
to have no sponsor. We don't need any, you know, sponsor to give us money to be on the front of our kits. We just want the badge. And it was like that for many, 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 many years. While other, you know, clubs such as United, you know, were getting, and every other club basically in the world, except Barcelona, were getting heaps of millions of dollars, you know, for having sponsorship. While Barcelona, we were like, nah, we're having nothing we're, the, we're owned by the people. We don't need nothing. You know, fair play to them. I'm not angry about that. That is like fair play to them, you know. So FIFA come along and they whisper in Barcelona's ear. They say, hey, 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 instead of having nothing, how about you just put a charity there, you know. You know, don't have it, nothing. Put a charity there. And you know what? They did, you know. They came out with UNICEF, if you guys remember that. And you know what? Again, fair play to Barcelona. Don't, that's wasted space. Put a charity there in UNICEF. And you know what? Mate, great. Well done. You know, it's a, it's a great cause, UNICEF. Go check it out. You know, so, well, you know, kudos to Barcelona, you know. So, this is where it all goes a bit. All right. Now, now this is what it's got to do with the FIFA governing body. All right. Now, I don't know how many years ago, but I think uh, 2010. I'm not sure. Somewhere around there. Man, all the bids were coming in for the World Cup. Now, England, they were in the bid to uh, for the uh, uh, was it 2018 World Cup. Russia won that. Now, this is where how I know this subject really well because for the 2022 World Cup, Australia, where I live, were in line and made a bid and spent millions and millions and millions of dollars to uh, host the 2022 World Cup. Australia, listen to this, Australia have hosted major events, and they do year in, year out. They've hosted two uh, uh, Olympics in our, in our lifetime. Uh, mate, we host the, um, the, the tennis Grand Slam every year, year in, year out. The Formula One. Uh, mate, Liverpool came down here. Manchester United come down here. Juventus are coming down here. Year in, year out, uh, Australia hosts the biggest events in sporting world. If FIFA go, hey, we're having a World Cup tomorrow, we need space, can Australia, can, are you ready to host it? Damn, yeah, we can host it, man. We are ready to go tomorrow. Mate, we were primed ready for that bid in 2022. But we didn't get it. We lost. Qatar won it. And I was like, Qatar? Qatar? I've never heard of Qatar, man. Qatar, let me go. Let me go do some research about Qatar. So Qatar win the World Cup. Oh, okay, that's funny. Qatar, they didn't even have one football stadium, and they won the World Cup bid. Make that what you will, honestly. And the thing that FIFA said, and this all this all gets back to Barcelona, Messi. Let me just get around to that. The one thing FIFA said, well, we do know that Qatar don't have a proper football stadium. They've got many pitches, but they don't have a proper stadium that can host the event. But what we're going to do, we're going to build about 20 stadiums for the World Cup. And then after the World Cup's over, even though it goes for a month, we're going to knock down every single stadium and then we're going to give the stadiums away. <laughs> Doesn't that sound ridiculous? Honestly, doesn't that sound like, mate, how much shit can one person talk? You're going to knock down every stadium after you put them up so you can go somewhere and build them in Africa. Like, mate, I've never heard someone spit so much shit in my life, honestly. Anyways, so the next week after all this happens... Sorry, my phone. So the next week after all this happens, <coughs> Barcelona, the club who are proud to have no sponsor, come out with Qatar Airways on their kits. A week after Qatar has just won the World Cup. Don't you think that is funny? Like, what a coincidence. Honestly, like, who, geez, you know, you know, it's like, did someone ever go to Barcelona and say, hey, weren't you the club that you, you didn't like any sponsorship, but now you're Qatar, they just won the, the World Cup rights? So yeah, man, it's a bit sus, isn't it? Yes, it is. But uh, it, it's not even crazy there, you know, just take a look, at, for instance, last season, Neymar, all right, you know, the next biggest thing in football, all right. 
you know, there was only one club he was going to go to if FIFA, the governing body, got their hands onto it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get you to Barcelona. Don't worry about that. Anyways, it comes out Neymar's transfer to Barcelona was indeed rigged. And I don't know, I don't, I don't know the, the finer details, but a lot of dealings were done wrong and a lot of people got paid and a lot of people got money that they shouldn't over the deal of Neymar. And the deal was wrong from Barcelona's end and uh, from FIFA's end. So Barcelona, uh, so FIFA, the government body, set bladder, come out and say, you know what? We'll, we'll just pretend that we're going to do something bad about this. And we, we're just going to make a big fuss. But they, we'll, we'll take care of your Barcelona. Don't worry about that. So Sepp Lella comes out in his press conference and he goes, You know what? Barcelona, we have found them guilty over the dealings of Neymar. So we're going to ban Barcelona for two years in the transfer market. Yeah, that's right. Two years for transfer markets. They are out of the running. And I'm like, damn, that's good. Finally. Well done, FIFA. I'm like, man, they're not holding Barcelona's hand. Man, finally. They, man, they're doing what they would have done to any other club if that had happened to. So, you know, well done. You know? But uh, two seconds later, you know, Sepp Blatter got a phone call from Barcelona. And, and the phone call would have been like this. Sepp Blatter would have had his phone ringing. He would have been like, yes, this is Sepp Blatter. Oh, hey, how's it going, Barcelona? Yeah, yeah. Luis Suarez, you're going to get him. Really? He's going to leave. And, and you and you reckon he's going to come to your club? But you're banned. Oh, oh, you want me to turn... Yeah, you... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, no worries, man, no worries. Yeah, I'll look after you. Yeah, that ban about Barcelona, we're just going to scrap that right out the way. And uh, yes, and uh, Barcelona, no more bans. You know, we're not even going to reduce the ban. We're just going to completely wipe it out the way. And that uh, Luis Suarez, you are free to join Barcelona. Honestly, because... Oh. <laughs> Does anybody else find this hilarious and funny? This is true. This is actually happening Oh my god. <laughs> oh, and so the story continues with Barcelona. His Messi mates won four uh, Ballon d'Ors, which we all know, and I don't care if you're the most hardcore of Messi fans out there, he should never, ever, 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 ever been close to being anywhere near four Ballon d'Ors. I tell you what, Wesley Snyder was ripped off in 2010, I think it was 10. Mate, how Messi won it when uh, um, Schneider should have guaranteed walked it in was a crime. I don't know how Messi sleeps at night. I honestly don't. But uh, and, and in 2012, when Ronaldo should have won it, but we won't go there. Messi won it and won four years, in a, uh, won four years now. But uh, we won't even go there. But... Uh, I, I, uh, this is all in my head. This is all like, you know, I, I don't care. You know, it's not a big deal. But today, enough was enough. Honestly, no way in the world should Messi have been named the player of the tournament for the World Cup. It is a crime. Like, I wrote a list of players here that for sure, I could have wrote about 30 players, honestly, that were better than Messi. Like I said, he wasn't the best player in Argentina. Let alone bloody the World Cup, you know. James Rodriguez, mate, you, my friend, are the player of the tournament. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. You are the player of the tournament. Mate, you won the golden boot, but not just that. You were fantastic. You are the player of the um, tournament. James Rodriguez or James Rodriguez, whatever way you say it. Mascherano, Robin, Lam, Schweinsteiger... Mate, Thomas Muller, mate, these guys actually won the World Cup and didn't even get a look in, you know, but Schweinsteiger was fantastic, same as Thomas Muller, you know, who broke Maradona's record, you know, um, Hummels, you know, best defender of the tournament, in my opinion, even if he wasn't the best defender in the tournament, he was definitely better than fucking Messi, let me give you the mail, Ron Vla, Ron Vla had Messi in his back pocket in the semi-finals by a mile, but not just that, he had an awesome World Cup, Vla, against Spain, man, he was awesome, he was way better than Messi was in this World Cup, but yet, yeah, Messi walks away being the champion of all the players, and it's a, I don't 
Mate, that that walk he went, Messi, to go collect his trophy, he, that would have been the longest walk on his life because he would have deep down known that he was not the player of the tournament. I'll tell you all right now. It's a disgrace, man. It's a disgrace. And, uh, you know, like I said, I wasn't even going to make this video, but enough was enough. When I was watching today that Messi was player of the tournament, oh... <laughs> Oh, come on, man. And you got Messi fans saying, Oh, you just got to see Messi in real life. But Messi in real life, you, you don't understand, mate. Honestly, FIFA, Barcelona, mate, it's all rigged. And it's all one big conspiracy. And it's just, how do you compete against these guys, man? It's just... Anyways, at the end of the day, lads, this is just my two cents. If you happen to give a fuck. Anyways, I'm your boy Curtis Seven. Take care and peace. <laughs> Messy player of the tournament. <laughs>